And I want you to identify this problem with yourself. I want you to imagine that the problems that we pose, they're all of our problems. They were my problems, they were Mike's problems, they're the world's problems, but they're your problem, okay? This is the problem, and hopefully you're identified with these problems. So first of all, thinking, problem one, which we're going to investigate, and I'm going to reveal each of these sta uh, stages for you. Problem one that we have, all of us, is what does it mean to think? What does it mean to think? I mean, we all use that word, don't we, on a daily basis, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking about that. But what do we actually mean? Now we have up to 60,000 thoughts a day that are just rambling through that frontal lobe, that uh, part of your brain, on a daily basis. And we say we're thinking. But you know, when Mike and I talk about thinking, we're talking about deep thought where there's a pause and you're thinking independently of the outside world. So you're stopping and really doing that sort of, well, where, where am I? Where do I want to go? What's stopping me? Those sorts of thoughts is what we mean by thinking. And most people don't think. They say they're thinking, but they're not thinking. They're running around like, uh, like rabbits, going down rabbit holes and going down this hole. We, we're just all of us driven, aren't we, by a crazy busy day. And we say we're thinking. But what you're doing now, and what I'm doing now, and what we're going to go through on each of these stages, the problems, is thinking. Asking that question, who am I? Where am I? And where do I want to go? I'll just say those again to you. Who am I? Where am I? Where do I want to go? Now just think about where you're sat or stood now watching this. Think about those three questions. And as you calm down your thinking into a different sort of corridor now, a different area, isn't it, into your brain, you're highlighting and activating that frontal lobe of your brain, which is getting very stimulated now by those sorts of questions, which are totally different from the rambling, so-called thinking thoughts that we have on a daily basis. So first of all, thinking, what does it mean? We've clarified that. It's about calming down and really taking stock about who am I and where am I going? So that's step one. Step two on our flip chart, this process of your misthinking, those mismatched thoughts that we say are thinking, but are really just rambling thoughts that we have on a daily basis, worry, doubts and fears, started really early. It started very early in your life, it started very early in my life, and it started, of course, very early in Mike's life. And we probably talk about school, but actually it goes even further back than that. The, the paradigms and the habits and the thinking that you have inside your mind started from the day you were born. And the people around you, the parents, the environment started already to reinforce in your mind the concept of thinking and where you were going with your thoughts. Really successful, thriving, people full of zest people, they know what it means to think and they know how to control those thoughts and they talk about thinking in a completely different way. So it started very early and unfortunately when we were at school, I'm sure you agree with me on this, we're never taught, are we, about how to think. I mean, we're, we're told how to solve two add two and what gravity is, but we don't actually sit down with anybody and, and have a question put, posed to us to say, who are you? What are you doing with that marvellous mind? Are you thinking about where you're going to go in the world? Are you thinking about deeper questions that are going to make that real change? So it's still off the curriculum within school. And I spent 25 years within the system of education in, in the United Kingdom. And I know for a fact that we're still not teaching children from a very young age about how to think how to think constructively. I know that. So it started early. Not your problem. It's not your fault because we all went into the system. So that's part two. Part three of the problem is that 
again, it goes back to when we were at school and it starts very early. We're not taught about the conscious and the subconscious aspect of our brain. And we're not taught about the ancient part of our brain. Some people call this the reptilian brain or the croc brain. So I'm going to explain a little bit about that. And if you like, take a step back in time to something which should have happened from day one when we were playing in the pram or in the, in the playroom. This or early days of school, this, this part should be taught from day one. So I'm going to share that with you now. I'm going to use uh, one of my tools that I always use. I don't be alarmed viewers, this is uh, not a real head, it's a polystyrene one, but I do use this a lot in my conferences and seminars. Okay, so without going into too much detail, I'm going to explain about the mind, where we say that thinking takes place. And I want you to imagine that this top part of your mind is the conscious aspect of your mind. And what do I mean by conscious as aspect of your mind? Conscious thoughts and thinking are those decisions where we sit down and we think, oh, right, I'm going to now think about how I'm going to get to London by train. Or I'm going to think about, oh, I wonder what the weather's going to be like tomorrow. It's where we activate neurons inside our brain to start the process of thinking. We're conscious of doing that. We're conscious where we are now. I'm conscious that I'm stood next to this flip chart. But there's another aspect of your brain. I've put it lower down here, but of course it's here. In fact, it fills the whole of your body, so there is a reason it's here, because it flows down into your body, and that's your subconscious part of your mind. Now, viewers, it's the subconscious part of your mind and your brain that is governing your life. It is governing your outcomes. It is governing your opinions. It's making your heart pump throughout the day to keep you alive. It's making your eyelids flicker and blink. It's operating cellular change within your body on a second by second, millisecond basis. The subconscious is the name of the game. This is the ruler, folks. This is the bit that you really want to key into, the subconscious. So just understand there's two parts to your brain. You've got conscious, making those choices, aware of making those choices, and you have the subconscious, which is ticking away in the background, just kind of getting on with the day-to-day -day, uh, process. And of course, it's that part of the brain which wakes up when we're asleep and starts to create those, those dreams that we can have. Now, also inside the brain, deep down inside, part of the subconscious is this ancient brain or the croc brain or the reptilian brain. And this is an ancient part of your brain which was there from day one when we were cave people running around in the forests. It's that part of our brain that keeps us alive, keeps us safe, and its only function, its only purpose is to keep you alive and keep you doing the same things day in, day out, as long as they're not harming you. Because in ancient times, whatever worked for us, worked for us. So the croc brain, the ancient brain, just kept that going and said, right, well, it's working for us. We can keep going on that don't change because it's keeping you alive. So even something like a low bank account, a low bank account can actually be something which is serving you because it's what you're used to. So the, the croc brain, the reptilian brain does that process. That's your ancient brain. So now you've got a little bit more of an, remember we're talking about raising that awareness, a little bit more of an understanding about the mind thinking and now the big player in the game, the subconscious. Now, if you found this short video helpful in helping you move courageously towards your dreams, I've created a success audio, especially for you, which I use every day, which has helped me tremendously and other people to break through uh, those barriers to actualize your dreams. And it involves the power of your subconscious mind and music. A success audio just for you, just click on the link below and you can access this for free right now. I'll see you on the inside.